So I don't think you'll find a more dedicated to the mission type of group than you'll find here. Working here, it means so much to me. Just by the years I've been here, just by the families I've served, I'm just delighted uh, when I walk in that front door just to be here at Arlington National Cemetery. You always see Arlington National Cemetery. I never in my wildest dreams thought I would be working here. But it's a pleasure. I, I do take pride in it. I enjoy it. Uh, my day basically starts here at Arlington National Cemetery when I arrive, actually getting my packages ready for the day. Uh, we have our morning meetings in which we go all over all the routes and all for the day. So at the start of the day, I'll come into the office. I will check my voicemails. I will also check any disapproved services to kind of see what the issues are that need to be corrected with them. My typical day is going over the next day's funeral service, deconflicting those 27 to 30 funerals that we're going to be conducting the following day, ensuring that each family gets their own piece of the cemetery during their service. From that point, I'll go back to the office and I'll wait for my families to arrive here. Once they arrive, i come out and meet with them. There's cues, a list of uh, cases that we are each assigned that we go through and verify eligibility and then um, proceed to call the families to schedule or answer um, any questions that they have as well as retrieving any documents that they don't have that we need. From there, it just goes into managing the daily operations, dealing with any issues that may arise, consoling families, talking to families, and always just trying to deconflict any issues that may arise and just thinking a couple of steps ahead to ensure that those issues don't even become issues. I go over the package information with them. I, I make sure the headstones are correct, any additional information that uh, we may need. And I do make sure all that is correct before I actually escort them out on the funeral. With that, I also manage all the flyovers that come to the cemetery, approve services so that the families can receive their documents in a, a timely fashion. Just kind of be in there anywhere I can be. We have 27 to 30 services a day. So trying to make sure that all of that happens seamlessly. You have to be able in this position to, to slow down. We have to make sure that all the information uh, that we have, we have to make sure it is correct. We have to make sure the headstone is correct. Double check, triple check the documents. The service can't go forward if something's not right. You have to be willing to ask for help if, if you are unsure because you certainly don't want to get anything wrong. I only have one time to get this service right. I can't go back and do it next week. It has to be done the right the first time. People like to actually come and do the job, interact with these families, meet new people, learn new stories. Because every service is different. 27 to 30 times a day, you're getting 27 to 30 different stories. I meet people from all over the country. I get a chance to enjoy them. Just for a few minutes, I get a chance to talk to them during a most difficult time. For me, is it an additional way to be able to serve the families in a different capacity as I am a veteran and also a military spouse of an active duty service member that could be me one day. The place is bigger than any one individual and to be able to come to a place like that every day and get that experience on a daily basis is something that is truly, uh, there are no words that can describe that sort of feeling. My name is Ken McCumber. I work with internment services at Arlington National Cemetery. My name is Adrian Obi. I work in internment services at Arlington National Cemetery. My name is Kelvin Dixon and I work in internment services here at Arlington National Cemetery.